People are flooding to the state of Iowa every single day. Just last year, we had a net gain of 6,300 people in for a state of 3 million, that's pretty substantial. But why are people moving to the state of Iowa? Now, the number one thing that you have to talk about if you're moving to the state of Iowa is the cost of living and specifically the taxes that are in the state of Iowa. Just recently, the governor has announced that there is going to be going towards a flat tax rate of 3.9%. Whereas before, everybody had a graduated system depending on how much you earned. So going to a 3.9 is gonna save a lot of people people a lot of money and people are excited about that so that is one great reason as to why people are flooding to the state of Iowa now I've lived in this state my whole life so I know a little bit here and there about it and if you're moving to the state of Iowa you're gonna really want to hit me up because I can help answer basically anything you want to know about the state of Iowa so if you have any questions hit me up my number is popping up down below I am the one that answers all those phone calls text emails and heck even follow me on Instagram if you want to I put a lot of content there as well. Now, speaking of taxes, taxes deal a lot with politics. They kind of go in sync with each other. And in the state of Iowa, traditionally, we've been a very mixed state as far as leaning conservative or leaning liberal. And just in the last few years, it's been going a lot more towards a red state. And a lot of people are fed up of where they're at in some of the politics, some of the policies that are going on. So one of the big reasons I hear people that move to the state is because of their politics. Yes, we have a Republican governor and she's doing a lot of different things in the state. Example, that flat tax rate that I talked about at the beginning. That's a huge change for the state of Iowa and it was really driven by her. But she's also doing other things as far as the schools. In the state of Iowa, she has decided that people should have school choice. So what does that look like as far as a policy? Well, that means that she is giving out money to students students, not the public schools necessarily. Now, what this actually looks like is basically you're going to get a scholarship as a public student and you can use that money however you want. You can go to a private school, but you can also go to a public school and she is funding students versus funding the school system because she believes that it is essential to have competition in the school systems in order to get the best product. And you know, some people absolutely love that option and that's one reason they're moving here and the politics that are behind that and people are just drawn to that sort of thing and if you're not Iowa may not be the best choice for you because that is kind of how Iowa has been leaning in the last few years it could flip but as of right now and around the corner in 2024 that's how it's looking something I mentioned at the beginning is that low cost of living in the state of Iowa we talked about the tax rate but that is not the only thing that is saving people the cost in living in Iowa let's talk about the housing specifically because that is the number one cost for most families in the United States. Well, our cost of living as far as housing go is fairly affordable when you look at it from a nationwide standpoint. You know, the average house, depending on where you're at here in Davenport, you're looking at about $180,000 to $200,000 for your average sized home. In the city of Des Moines, which is the largest city, you're probably looking at around two hundred. dollars Now, again, that all is dependent on where you decide to live within some of these cities and small towns but you know if you're speaking if you're looking at this video and you're thinking 200 sounds pretty good because you're in a state where the average cost is around 500 well that is one main driver that people have told me and statistically are talking about why they're moving to the state of Iowa because that housing cost is absolutely crazy and you know our housing costs here in Iowa are up just like all the other markets in the nation and it's kind of an interesting dynamic as to what's going on interest rates are up and and prices are up. Typically when interest rates go up, the prices dip down below, but what's going on? The inventory was so low from when we had those two and a half, three percent interest rates that it's just never really caught up. And everybody that wanted to buy bought with a two and a half percent to three percent or they were already a homeowner and they refinance at that two and a half, three percent. So why are our prices still going up? Because everybody that got in at those 
interest rates are not willing to get out of those interest rates to purchase another home that's going to be higher priced and at a higher interest rate. So people are staying put. So our prices are going up, but that is besides the point. Our prices are still extremely low and comparative to other markets around the United States and people absolutely are loving it. The state of Iowa is kind of maturing out of agriculture. Now, don't get me wrong, farmers. Agriculture is still our biggest portion of our economy here in Iowa, but there's other opportunities coming along. You know, we have tech. So in Des Moines, they have Facebook, they have Google and Council Bluffs. I believe they have Microsoft in Des Moines as well. They have insurance jobs. I actually got to work with a company called Business Solver in Des Moines at one time back in my engineering days, and they are a software as a service company for insurance companies. Basically, they made software to help companies sign up for their insurance benefits. And Des Moines is kind of becoming a huge hub for working in insurance. And that is definitely not an agricultural product. So people from different skill sets, different backgrounds are liking the state of Iowa because they have the jobs that aren't just agriculture, farming, ranching, you know, all of those sorts of things. And it's opening up the possibilities to other people that want to move here, have that low cost of living that I keep mentioning and still have those high paying jobs that are available and not just in agriculture. The universities in the state of Iowa are actually top notch. So what are we talking about here? We're talking about Iowa, University of Iowa. We're talking about UNI, University of Northern Iowa, Drake, and of course the best of them all, Iowa State University. Okay, I'm a little biased as I went there to get my engineering degree, but here's the deal. All of them are pretty awesome. And here's the other thing is they're fairly affordable for citizens of the state of Iowa. I ended up graduating with just $5,000 in debt and I paid that off fairly quickly after I graduated when I got my full-time job. And luckily for me, I got a great education and it was fairly affordable. I paid for it as I went through. Now, that's not everybody's story, but it's possible if you live in the state and you want to go one of these state universities because they're top-notch and they're fairly affordable, especially when you're looking at other states. When I went to school there, we'd get a lot of people from Chicago and Illinois because the in-state tuition was actually more expensive than the out-of-state tuition at the universities here in Iowa. So we got a lot of people from there as well as Minnesota. And I don't know if that's still the case, but when I was there, that was my experience. I think it's fairly close to the same situation as when I was going there though. Now at the beginning, I said people are flooding to the state of Iowa, which is true, but Here's the thing, we're still a little bit undiscovered, which means our populations in areas is still fairly low. Yeah, in the whole state of Iowa, we only have about 3 million people. And when you think about the whole area that we have, that's really not that many people. And honestly, they're not really concentrated in big cities. Des Moines, our biggest city, is only sitting at about seven or 800,000. Yes, they're projected to get to a million in the next few years, but really it's not that much when you're talking about major cities and there's not a lot of other big cities. You got Cedar Rapids, you have Davenport, Council Bluffs, Sioux City, but even those cities are not very big. Obviously it's Des Moines is the king, the biggest, and all these other people, they are in small towns all around the state of Iowa. So if you're looking and you're like, I wanna get away from people, well, Iowa is a great option for that because we are not overpopulated like a lot of these other states. And you know what the other benefit of not having an overpopulation issue is that the traffic is not too bad here. Now you may catch the occasional slow traffic because of a tractor going down the road, but overall it's not too bad with one exception and that is the city of Des Moines and still it's not that bad but every time I go through that city somehow or another I end up in some kind of traffic stop traffic jam now that could be because I am going during the most busy times when people are getting off of work but hey it's not bad you can get to one side of the city to the other in about 30 minutes and that is the same here in Davenport so traffic not too bad we still complain about it but what else are we gonna complain about it's pretty awesome living in the state of Iowa a number one complaint I get from people moving here is they feel like there's nothing to do and that's really changing because the state of Iowa wants people to move here so we have things like the typical 
you know, during the fall time right now, we have pumpkin patches, apple orchards, but we also have a great restaurant scene popping up. We have things here in Davenport where we have Thai restaurants, we have Ethiopian restaurants. We have a lot of cool stuff in, in Des Moines. There is a lot of awesome restaurants opening up in downtown, and it's really to drive people to want to come and not just have all those restaurants that are steak and potatoes. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my steak and potatoes, but sometimes it can get a little boring, so I am excited to see that the state and the cities of the state are really trying to drive home that they want different things to do and try to drive people to the state because we love you guys when you come to the state and we want you here. Now, obviously we want you guys here, but we want you to know where you want to end up. So if you have questions, concerns, I know this state, I just made a whole vlog about the state of Iowa. So let me know, my number is popping up down below. But if you just wanna take a look at that vlog, well, it's actually linked right here. So go take a look. It shows you the entire state from a vlog perspective.